Hello everyone, for the last week or so ID4 and ID5 was gone on the Volkswagen configurator and normally I wouldn't see that <laughs> because I'm not on the configurator all the time but I was checking for the ID7 the whole time it's still not ordered but it looks very close and it looks like it's gonna happen um, and uh, today ID4 and ID5 came back and now it's the new version with the new motor, with the new screen, new hardware. Uh, the car that I drove, I drove an ID5 GTX. Uh, I drove in Munich, uh, the video is online in the beginning of September at the IAA. And um, we have the screen, uh, we have ID Software 4.0 and we have a bigger screen. We don't have the 15 inch screen from the ID7, but 12.2 inch or 12.9 inch, something like this. I said that wrong in my other video. But I thought we go through the configurator and see what uh, the prices are. This is the German website. I cannot put it into English or anything. I will translate a bit and it's not that hard it is not so much stuff that can happen if you want to support the channel there's a patreon link in the description below and there's also channel membership here on youtube and if you want an order an id3 4 or 5 and you use my referral link in the description below we both get 200 euros charging credit important you have to use the link before you order the car so right now volkswagen is only uh, offering four different electric cars id3 4 5 and 7 and id bus in um uh, but it's not on the normal volkswagen side that's nutzfahrzeuge so that's a bit different but let's go into the id4 it starts at it said 40,335 euros that's with the 52 kilowatt hour battery if you want the pro that's uh, with the 77 that's then 46 we also have uh, the pure with the infotainment package the pro with the infotainment package and the gtx with the infotainment package normal gtx starts at 53255 um, and it's not just the infotainment system package it's just other things that uh, uh, this package here has but we will go into normal thing what i want to see what motor does the, the the pure have or is the interior the same so i'm wondering if the interior is anything else then it tells you right away that in, in germany you can have a delivery in wolfsburg or in dresden which both cost 940 euros I thought for the ID7 was 990 <laughs> and that uh, with the new incentives in Germany you have to know that now this is interesting we have new colors and the roof is now in the same color it's not black was this always with the ID4 I'm now I'm not thinking did the ID4 always had a black roof right like the ID3 am I wrong well this here has that <laughs> you can have it with the exterior silver but now we have other colors we have fully fully blue the roof as well the blue dusk metallic Costa Azul metallic we have total white look at that how's, how's the rear then Oh, it looks nice when everything when not that doesn't have to be black. Then we have red and fully not again and little gray. Is it scale silver gray? And then we have the, the light, as we know with the with the black roof. We know those colors. The red one that's used for the for the um, GTX, for example. What is it? What is the exterior style of silver? It is a silver thing and silver thing. So here on the side, I think this on top here and this here is the difference. So if I go to gray up here and remove this, yeah, then this is his black. It's not silver. Costs 500 euros if you want that in silver. Good to know. <laughs> then interior we only have this one but it's it's a new screen that's good we can see that the new screen the new gear selector the new uh, steering wheel with the new buttons now volume and next song and stuff is underneath here's next song can I zoom in no I can't 
can I? But I can full screen it, right? Yes. So this is next song, previous song, and you can slide as before or swipe. I always say slide. And here volume. Then up here, this is all cruise control. Up here is to turn it on. Here's travel assist and the distance in the middle and up here view that's to change the view here and and then with the arrow buttons you can change it in what direction so view and then change um or is it just the thing I, I can't remember and then you have an okay button for when you have your uh driving data in the screen that you can switch between the screens you have your voice control and what is this is it the steering wheel heater? Yeah, it's a steering wheel heater like in the ID7. And now with the new infotainment system, like I said, 12.9 inch screen, we'll look if this is true. We have no buttons underneath anymore. So before we had climate, park, assist and drive mode. Now this is all up here. Your climate is down here all the time. You have your seat heating button, always the temperature, AC button, and I think you can configure it if it's the same. I'm pretty sure it's the same as in the ID7. You can configure what buttons are down here. Not You cannot configure everything, but a lot of them. And when you go to uh, something, you, you get into your climate. And up here is your drive mode. You assist again you can change those and then on the left you have extra buttons shortcuts that you can change it's a lot of new things other than that uh this is the same in black is it i think it's still glossy this is pretty much the same up here is the same yet yeah, now they have more buttons here in the middle i've seen that too when i turn on this light or when i change the angle of the of the rear view mirror i sometimes i touch this um i need re, uh, need the workshop hey this is nice i like those seats that's very nice i like that huh very very nice but let's go on what can we have in the pure not a lot <laughs> it looks like you cannot have a lot is that's it that's the pure <laughs> And it's even cheaper, it's 39,260, because in the 40,000 there was no, there was no, um, no incentive, that's the German incentives here. So this is the German price, uh, so you can have an ID4 for under 40,000 euros, it has o only 170 horsepower, 52 kilowatt hour battery, it will charge with I think 110, 110 kilowatt peak, as far as I remember. Um, I don't know if this is the old motor or this is the new motor, but via software uh, put down to this power because the new motor should have 286 horsepower, 210 kilowatt. I don't know. But let's go to a different package. Let's go to the one with the infotainment package. And I want the big battery as well. <laughs> I said it. Infotainment package, what do we have? We can have a, an all-wheel drive model with 286 horsepower or just rear-wheel drive 286. And the rear-wheel drive here is for sure the new motor, the AP550, where Volkswagen says it should be way more efficient. I haven't tested it. I hope that in January I can get a test car ID4, ID5 and drive it against uh, an old ID4, ID5 and see if it's really better consumption. We'll see. Um, and this all-wheel drive, I don't know, again, if this is the, still the motor, but uh, reduced in the front motor. Uh, in the GTX, it, it, it should be the rear motor with 210 kilowatt and front motor with 40 kilowatt. I don't know how it is here. Colors, we have the same. We have the same um, silver package thingy here. That's all here the same. Then we have some tires. This is a new tire. What is this? How did it? Oh, it's it's steel rims. <laughs> uh, but it's nice that you can have that. So this is uh, if you don't want to spend money on something, so they can make the car cheaper. But it can be those hammer <laughs> uh, wheels. It can be 20 inch and even 21 inch if you want that. And then you can have two different uh, winter tires. Cool. But we want the 19 inch, but not the all year tires. That's just not what we want. Then interior, we can have different things. We have, what is that? 
Florence Brown. Ooh. Nice. What's this? Platinum gray. So instead of black, it's then gray. Soul black. What's the difference to the normal black? Ah, it's the seat is different. Ah, because it's a different package. You didn't have electric seats and all of this. And it even takes the, the sport package. Look at that. Aha. Uh -huh. Now we take the, the normal one and see if I can upgrade something. What we can have. You can have. Um, yeah, these are the things. Interior style front brown. It costs a lot of money. 2560 here, but that's uh, more seats as well. Look at that. There's, it has the. Uh, the electric seats, ergo active seats with massage function and memory. And here, top sport plus, it's even the sport seats. So, if you take that, but I don't want platinum gray. That's a bit boring, but it's fine. <laughs> we take it. Then we have our incentives. Then we have our design package. It can either be the normal design package, which has the uh, LED, the, the uh, IQ light LED matrix, then that the, the light in here in front between the between the, the two lights is illuminated in the standard. This is not in there. The same as in the rear. This then is, and what else? And the rear the rear uh, windows are tinted. We take that, and what's in the in the plus? We also get the. The panoramic roof. That's that for design. Interior. That was it's the whole package then. So with the seats you get a whole package. That's interesting. So the ambient ambient light 30. That's not in the standard. The standard is 10. And uh, what do we have? Uh, side mirrors, electric and heated and uh, foldable. Like I said, the seats and that the the side support is 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 can be adjusted. The steering wheel should be normal. What else do we have? This should be normal. And art velour, the projection of the logo to the side and front heated seats. There's no real heated seat. Hmm. Okay, assist system. Uh, in the ID7, for example, this is all standard. You cannot say that you don't want travel assist. In the in the uh, ID7, you get it. Same with the head-up display, you just get it. That's all included. Assist system, you can have the normal assist uh, system, which is Park Assist Plus, and the rear view camera, keyless entry, and that the, the door handles are illuminated. That's it. If you want, so there's no. Adaptive cruise control. For adaptive cruise control and travel assist, you need the uh, uh, assistance package plus for 2,700 euros. Then infotainment system. It can be the normal infotainment system. Um, it has the navigation system and wireless charging for your phone. And in the in the plus, not in the normal, you get the head-up display and sound system, Harman Kardon 8 plus 1 speakers. For example, in the ID7, that's 700 watts and it's 12 speakers. I don't know why, but we want that. Come on. <laughs> then we have our tow hook comfort packet. What do we have with the comfort packet? We have two USB-Cs in front, 45 watt. Um, we have heated front uh, window. You can have that now. Uh, climate control, air care, climatic. Now two zone, and I guess in the comfort package plus it has three zone. And uh, the the spray is heated, and for the front seats are heated. We already said that. And in the plus, what else do we get? Yeah, three zone. Like I said, uh, middle console uh, is adjustable. It also says without. So what the only difference? The only difference is the, the three zone climate and this middle console. Okay. All right. We want that <laughs> because we just do. And then safety. 
We have a charger for home, we don't need that. Uh, the heat pump for a thousand euros, if it's available. I talked to you about the IDA7 video. A sport package. We have the pro, uh, sport suspension and progressive steering. I still don't know what that is exactly. I looked it up and I didn't understand it. And the plus is then with the with DCC, dynamic chassis control, where you can set it to a level that you want. It can be soft or more sporty. And uh, the other one is just set how it is. And I want this, of course. And then we are 61,000 euros, the same as the ID7. <laughs> so the car that I want. Nice. Nice, nice. Let's go and look for the GTX. ID4 GTX is then, like I said, all-wheel drive. It doesn't say the battery capacity and the acceleration yet, for whatever reason. Why is that? Is that here too? It says the range, 524 kilometers, where the other one has 553. And we get the red, of course, GTX. Now it says GTX here in the door. This is the stuff they didn't, they wanted to do in the ID3 and then they changed it. Now they have it back here for the uh, GTX, but not for the, for the Pro. 20 inch wheel is standard. We, ooh, now we have uh, accents for GTX here in the middle. Doesn't say it here. I thought this is the normal middle console. What's the difference? I still don't know that. And then you can have it with the Sport seats so these are the normal seats and these are the sport seats and uh, they're electric and uh i have to select it that's interesting then with design plus we just said it, it's with the panoramic roof we just talked about it then uh, interior there's only one package assist package uh, same travel assist comfort package this uh, infotainment package same comfort package plus we already talked about that and we want the sport package plus and then we had 65,000 euros that's okay and look let's look at the id5 then id5 we have we don't have the small battery we only get the 77 kilowatt hour battery in the id5 that was always like that um, but we get rear wheel drive, which I think should be the 286 horsepower. Why doesn't it not say that? 19 inch tires, fine. And we have the same interior packages that you can have. Ooh, they, they recommend this. <laughs> Let's recommend. Ooh, it is fancy. The seats look in this design they look horrible. <laughs> um, can I have it with the sport seats? Yes, I can. It's the same material but with the sport seats. This is in and we have the exact same packages as the ID4 had too. Why would it be any different? Yep. Sport and then all the stuff you can have but now what i want to see uh, uh, is leasing i want to uh, let's go back to id7 you know me i know it's not the same why is the id7 more expensive to pick up in wolfsburg and Dresden? But i take my blue maybe the thing just doesn't load right now i want those tires i want i know where the stuff is <laughs> mistel gray and I want no incentives in Germany, exterior package plus. I want interior plus and uh, floor mats. No, no heat pump. Well, I would love that, but it's, yeah, we talked about it. Then we are 65,885. Let's do our leasing. We do 24 month, 20,000 kilometers a year, pay 10,000 up front, then we are 720 euros, then we are 65, 700 euros, 100 euros less. Let's do the same leasing. 24 months, 20, God, I did this along, and it's 750, it's ex more expensive than the ID3, because, ID7, because it's new. Look at that. 
<laughs> ID7 is a bargain. <laughs> cute, cute. But important is that now you have the new screen, the new uh, uh, motor, and uh, also new hardware. So how the how the uh, uh, configuration is, so how the screen is loading, how hopefully also update process should be different. It's all different hardware with ID Software 4 and this new screen. So this is what I'm looking for. I'm hoping I can test those cars a bit longer in the future. Uh, but that's it for me. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day and take care. Bye.